Welcome everybody. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to use your Young Living Premium Starter Kit. Now the starter kit that I'm going to be going over today is the starter kit that has 11 oils. It's the USA kit that also comes with a diffuser. And the one that I have that most people tend to get right now is the Desert Mist Diffuser. So we'll be going over how to use that as well as everything else that is inside this box. When you get your box from Young Living, you want to make sure you dig into all of the boxes. So you're going to see a box that has your diffuser in it probably looks like this So you want to get your diffuser out of there as well as the power cord If you opted for the desert mist diffuser, which is the one that most people are opting for right now You're going to see a power cord in a little box that's inside that big red box So you want to grab the power cord and set that aside and you want to make sure you have your diffuser And it's going to have three different parts to it. It's going to have this cover and then it's also going to have this funnel looking thing as well as the base. So now that we have the diffuser out, we've got to get an oil in there to start diffusing right off the bat. So we're going to completely unpack this box here as well. So this is the box that actually houses the oils. It houses the Ninja Red packets and the Thieves packets, but there's a little trap door in here that a lot of people forget about. So we're going to completely unpack the box before we begin. So first you want to take the box here and just slide off the sleeve. It comes off just like this. And then the box here has a little tab right here in the front that you just want to open up and it has two different sides to it. So the side on, um, it's actually your right, my left, has the oils and then we have some information here on the left, your left, my right. Um, so in the little sleeve of information, there's some stuff to, to look through. Um, we don't have to really touch on it too heavily right now. So. Let's go ahead and open the other side of our box. So what you want to do is you want to take this off. It lifts off. There's like a little uh, pull tab here. So this pack of oils comes completely off. Now what I recommend is setting this up. There's on the back like a kickstand, <laughs> a little stand that just folds out like this. Let me get it open. All right, so it just folds out like that, and then you can set your oils upright on a table. And it's really nice, I find, to have my oils out. You can see I have that shelf behind me now, um, but when I started with my starter kit, I made sure to have my oils out, so they were my first thing that I reached for, rather than reaching for things out of my wellness cabinet that I was in the habit or in the routine for reaching for. So having it out and propped up on a table just makes it super easy. It's not out of sight, out of mind. Mind. It's actually right in your sight and right in your mind. So you get to use your essential oils to their fullest value. So once you have this out and set up on a table or anywhere, you'll see that there's another little pull tab. So you want to pull this pull tab out. And this is the rest of the goodies that are in the box. And a lot of people don't know to lift this little trap door off. So in here, and we'll go over all of these things, you're going to see a little squeezy packet of Thieves Household Cleaner couple of packets of a Ninja Red, that's a nutrition drink. You're gonna find your 11th oil. This is um, in the US, it's Stress Away. If you're in Canada, it's Northern Lights Black Spruce. And I can't remember the other countries what they have, but they always have one down here too. And then here's the little roller bottle, um, little roller topper that you can put on your essential oil bottle to make it into a little roll-on. Makes it super easy to apply your essential oil of choice with a little roller topper, so that's there. Then you have little empty sample bottles, so you can fill your oils into here and put them in your purse, have them on the go. Or if somebody wants to try a Thieves or a Peppermint or something, you can just add a few drops to one of these little bottles and you can share some information with them about that essential oil. You have little share it cards in here too, so it's really convenient. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the diffuser set up. I'm going to recommend diffusing Stress Away or Northern Lights Black Spruce, whatever you have in the bottom of the box here, um, just because I love that essential oil. I just think it smells so good. So that's where we're gonna start. All right, so here is the Desert Mist Diffuser in its pieces. So we have the base here, and then we have the funnel that goes on the base, and then we have a cover here as well as a power cord. So the first thing you wanna do is plug in the power cord. And I actually have one of these really neat things from, this is a cord keeper from Office Max that I like to keep here so my cord doesn't like fall behind when I take it apart. So um, all you do is you're just going to plug in the power cord to the little hole that's on the bottom of the base. So you just plug that in and then it'll seat so that, there we go. 
so that it's not um, off center or disjointed <laughs> with your cord. There we go. So it'll sit nice and flat. So the next thing we want to do is we want to fill it with water. And there is a little um, kind of ridge here, I guess, where there's a, a little cutout. And that is the fill line. So you want to make sure you fill your water only up to here. And I just happen to have some spring water that I use in my bedroom here. You can use any water you want. doesn't matter. I just like to keep a jug in here so I don't have to constantly go to the sink to refill it. And then I just fill it up to the fill line. There we go, just like that. So when we fill it full like that, um, this diffuser will run on high um, for about five to six hours. It'll run on low for up to eight, and then it will run on intermittent mode up to 10 hours, which is a really long time. Um, so then all we want to do is add a couple of drops of our essential oil. So I'm going to do stress away just because I love it. I think it smells super duper amazing. So I'm going to add three drops in there. There we go. I recommend people start low and you can always add more oil afterward if you feel like you need more. Um, personally, I go three to five drops in my diffuser, but to each his own. And then this is where the little tricky part comes. So you have a funnel and you just want to stick it on, but then you want to turn it and you want to turn it until it locks into place and it doesn't turn anymore. So if it's off center and it just keeps turning, it's not quite in the right spot. So you just wanna keep turning, keep turning until it seats in place. That will prevent your diffuser from leaking. Sometimes that happens if it's seated like wonky or cattywampus or whatever, it will um, leak a little bit. So you just wanna make sure that it's in the right spot, it'll stop turning, and then you just put your cover right back on top like this. So there's two buttons on the back, so I'm just gonna turn this so you guys can see them. You got a button on the left-hand side and a button on the right. The button on the left is the on button. So when you hit it once, that will turn the diffuser on and that's the high output. If you hit it a second time, now it's on the low output. You hit it a third time, that's on the intermittent setting, and then you hit it a fourth time and that turns it off. All right, so I'm just gonna have it run on high. So I just turned it on, hit it once. So now I can change the colors, which is really cool. So that's the button on the right hand side. So if I don't change anything, it's just gonna stay this bright white color. If I hit it once, it goes to kind of a more dim white. Then we have candlelight flicker mode which is super fun. It doesn't really show up well on camera because of the, the frame rate that I have right now. Um, but when you see it in person, you're just like, yeah, that's a candle. <laughs> like it looks like a candle. So then you hit it another time and it will cycle through the different colors that are available. So it'll go from red and then it'll cycle to orange to kind of a pinky color. And it'll just kind of keep cycling through the different colors that are available yellow, and it'll just keep going. So then you can change the colors if you want. So you can have red, orange, and I'm just hitting the button and it changes them. Yellow, green, like a bluish color, a real deep blue, and then we've got a purple, and then we can turn the light completely off. So that's a really good option if you want to have this run in the bedroom. There is no visible light on here at all. And when the water runs out, then it'll just turn off, which is fabulous. So I'm going to put it on the bright white color just because I think that's super pretty. And we've got our bright white, so we are good to go. Okay, we've got our diffuser set up. Isn't it beautiful? Um, check out that candlelight flicker mode in person. It, the camera does not do it justice just because it doesn't, the frame rate just doesn't catch it, but it is just so pretty. I love it, but we're going to leave it on the white for now because I think that's really pretty too. All right, so let's dig into these oils here that also come in your starter kit. So you can see if you're in the United States, there's going to be oils on the top that are white colored packaging and on the bottom that are colored packaging. So the oils that are included in this, we have lemon, copaiba, diegize, thieves, and peppermint. These are all vitality oils, which means dietary or internal use oils. Then we have the topical oils on the bottom, Panaway, Raven, Citrus Fresh, Frankincense, Lavender, and then in the bottom of our box, we have the Stress Away that we put in our diffuser. So the reason for the different colors of packaging here is that these oils on the top are intended for internal or a dietary supplement or food flavor use, internal use. The ones with the colored packaging are labeled for topical, which means applying the oil to your skin, or aromatic use, which means smelling the oil from the bottle or putting it in your diffuser. Now, what's the difference? 
There really isn't. Uh, the packaging on the top is white just for labeling purposes. The oil that's actually inside the bottle also has a topical aromatic counterpart. So like this peppermint here that's labeled for internal use. There is also a colored packaging peppermint as well that is labeled for topical and aromatic use. There is no difference in the quality, testing, anything between the two peppermints. They are identical. The only thing that's different is the labeling of them just to comply with the Food and Drug Administration. Okay? So let's dig in and see what we can use these oils for. So first I'm actually going to start with the Stress Away that I have in my diffuser right now. It smells so, so good. So Stress Away is amazing for any times we have stress in our lives. So if you have somebody in your household, regardless of age, that's feeling maybe a little bit of occasional anxiety, occasional um, restlessness before bed, or maybe you're somebody who has ruminating thoughts and you're just trying to, to calm down before a presentation or before an interview or before anything that's going on in your life, Stress Away is amazing for helping to calm those feelings down, calm our nerves down. So you can diffuse this, you can put it in um, a... Uh, on your skin if you want to just rub it directly right into your skin um, you can put it in a diffuser necklace too if you happen to have one of those and just smell that aroma outside of it just smelling really good because of the lime and the vanilla and copaiba and lavender and all these great smelling essential oils it also has these very calming properties from the essential oil molecules that are in the bottle. So it gets a little bit sciencey. And if you want to learn more about the science behind essential oils, I actually recommend this book here. Um, it's called The Essential Oils Desk Reference. And this is published by Life Science Publishing. And there is a pocket reference um, that's also really, really good too. That's a little bit smaller. It's not quite as comprehensive, but it really gets into the science of why essential oils work. And it's not a placebo effect, okay? It's like really, really fascinating. So grab a good reference book like that one and it'll give you more information. But stress away for me, I personally like to use this just by taking a drop, putting it in my diffuser or putting it on my skin somehow. So I will literally just put a drop, see if I can do this without getting it all over. There we go. On my wrists and just rub my wrists together and it just smells amazing. It's like vacation. Oh, it smells so good. It's one of my absolute favorite smelling essential oils. I superficially wear it as a perfume because I just think it smells so good. <laughs> it really smells really good. Um, so that is Stress Away. That's the oil that's hiding in the bottom of your box that we had dug out to put in our diffuser. Okay, so then let's go ahead and go through the oils on the top. So remember, these are the Vitality oils. They are labeled for ingestion somehow as a food flavor or as a dietary supplement however you wanna do that. So I'm gonna start with the peppermint. Peppermint is a wonderful oil for our digestive system. It's very cooling and soothing. So with the peppermint vitality, what I like to do is I like to take a drop in a mug of warm water, swirl it in there, get it mixed up really, really good, and then just drink that down. It's good in cool water too, um, because it, it helps to support your your energy. Um, if you're going to be working out or you have a long day ahead, really good for circulation and just really giving you a little bit of pep in your step. At the same time, it'll freshen your breath as you drink it, which is wonderful. Um, but you can also add it to like a peppermint um, brownie. That's a really nice thing to do. Or you can make peppermint patties, meltaways, candies, things like that. If that's something that you're interested in doing, um, really good to add to hot chocolate also. Um, but it's very good for our digestive system and for freshening our breath. Now, there is a topical aromatic version of that peppermint that Young Living has as well. And what I like to do is I like to apply it to my skin. Skin. It's very cooling, um, kind of feels like one of those icy and hot types of rubs that you might have experienced before. Um, it's because of the menthol that's in there. It, it helps you cool down, um, especially when it is, you know, the middle of summer and you just need a little bit of help just refreshing yourself. You can do a drop of the peppermint on the back of your neck, put it in a spray bottle with some water, spray yourself down. It just feels really, really, really good. All right, so now we're going to go on to Thieves. Thieves is the next one. Thieves has a funny name. It's like, why would you call an essential oil Thieves? So the idea behind Thieves is at the um, in Europe at the time of the plague, was that 1300s, 1400s, somewhere in there, uh, there were these guys that were going around and robbing the dead and the dying. 
legend has it, they themselves were not contracting the plague, so they were caught, taken to the king, and the king offered to grant them leniency if they would disclose how they themselves were not contracting the plague. Turns out these guys were spice merchants and they were rubbing the insides of the uh, the plague masks that they were wearing with very immune supporting herbs um, and spices. So clove, cinnamon, rosemary, etc., etc., etc. The oils that are in the thieves blend. Okay, so really, really good. When you think thieves, think immune support. All the immune support. Okay, so with this one, what I like to do is I will either I'll do one of two things when I. I'm ingesting it. Um, I will either add a drop to the Ninja Red, which is in the rest of the box. We'll get into that in a second. Um, when I take my little shot of Ninja Red, I'll add one drop of the Thieves Vitality, or I like to take a spoon and um, put a little bit of local raw honey, like that really good crunchy honey, um, and I'll add one drop of the Thieves Vitality to that, and I'll just take that and it's really good immune support at change of seasons time, if you're going on vacation, uh, if you're going to the library or the grocery store, it doesn't matter. Anytime we need some thieves um, support in our bodies, <laughs> which means if we're going to be out in public anywhere or need to support our immune systems at all, this guy right here, you got to have it. You got to use it. Um, there is a topical aromatic version of thieves as well. When I teach my music lessons, I always have thieves going in my diffuser. Um, it smells amazing. My kids just, they come in and they're just like, ah, because it, does, it smells like Christmas. I mean, it's very warming. Um, it has clove, cinnamon, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus. So it just smells really, really good together. It smells like fall. Um, they just think it smells good. And I just giggle to myself because I know that I have ulterior motives. <laughs> So anyway, um, love thieves. It's a must for every household. All right, the next one is Digize Vitality. So if you have a digestive system, you need Digize Vitality in your life. So Digize is a wonderful oil to help with all things related to digestive support. So after I eat maybe a big meal or if I'm out at a restaurant and I eat something I'm on vacation, or if I just feel the need to have some digestive support, Digize, um, you can take a drop in a little glass of water, drink that down super quickly. Um, you can just do a drop right in your mouth if you want to do that, or put a drop in a vegetable capsule and swallow that down with water. Amazing digestive support from top to bottom. It is really, really good. Um, the oils in here, when you smell it, it'll kind of smell like a health food store to you probably um, because it has ginger and tarragon and fennel and patchouli and anise, lots of really digestive supporting essential oils. It might even smell like maybe a digestive tea that you've had before. Um, so it's just a really, really good essential oil. Now, there is a topical slash aromatic version of Digize. With that, I like to take it a uh, drop and rub it right on my belly. It has a little bit of peppermint in it too. So it is both warming from the ginger and cooling from the peppermint. And it feels amazing, like so good. So I'll rub it on my feet, I'll rub it on my belly, I'll smell it from the bottle, whatever I need to do to get it either in me with the Vitality or on me with the topical aromatic version. It's all the same oil, right? Um, anything that I need to do to support my digestive system, Digize is king. I love it. All right, the next one is Copaiba. So Copaiba has a funny name, right? Copaiba. I've also heard it pronounced Copaiba. Haiba. Um, so this comes from a tree in Brazil, and it is very high in a constituent called beta caryophylline And this constituent is very good for our bodies to help our bodies to relax and to, um, you know, not feel super duper stressed out in any situation. So in Stress Away, Copaiba is in there, okay? So that's part of the whole Stress Away blend. Um, Copaiba itself, what I will do with this, the Vitality version, I will take a drop and put it underneath my tongue. I'll just like tilt the bottle back until it, I get one in my mouth and I will let it sit underneath my tongue for as long as I can stand it. Then I'll just swallow it down, maybe take a sip of water. It doesn't taste bad. It's very, I don't know, earthy, um, kind of like van vanilla and dirt. It's really <laughs> very mild. And I don't know why it works, but I'm telling you in 20 minutes, I feel like the most relaxed person ever. Um, so do some research on the constituent and just spell it out. Google will autocorrect you. Beta caryophylline. C-A-R, I don't know, there's a couple of Y's, a couple of L's. Anyway, 
beta caryophylline amazing essential oil for all things relaxation and all that. Um, the oil itself is also very uplifting to our emotions as well. So that's a good one to keep on hand if you have any gloomy gusses in your house. Copaiba is a good one. Um, there is a topical aromatic version of the Copaiba. Throw it in your diffuser, smell it from the bottle. It's just really, really nice to have. Okay, lemon. Lemon Vitality. I like in the morning to have one drop of Lemon Vitality in a big glass of water, and that's how I get my day started. And I do that just to kind of get my system woken up and moving. You know, you'll hear a lot of times people will talk about how they like to squeeze lemon juice into a cup of water and then drink that down. That can be a little bit harmful uh, for your teeth because of the acidity in that lemon juice. The lemon vitality is from the rind of the lemon, so it's from a different part. It has really good cleansing properties. However, it doesn't have that acidity, so it's a little bit better for your teeth. You don't have to kind of worry about that acidity in your mouth. Um, so it's very good for supporting your immune system. It's great for supporting your, um, your flushing systems as well. Um, I I like to also make marinades for chicken and fish with the lemon vitality as well. Um, make salmon patty cakes and things like that out of the lemon vitality. Just one drop with a little bit of garlic olive oil and you are good to go. Really good for salad dressings also. Um, there is a topical aromatic version of the lemon that works great to get the sticky residue off of anything basically. So if you have a price tag that's stuck to a glass and it is not coming off no matter what you do, just take a couple drops of the lemon, put it on there, let it sit, and then take a dull butter knife and you can just scrape away the sticky. It works really, really good. Um, lemon is also great in your diffuser as well. Pair it with maybe peppermint or pair it with um, you can do peppermint, lavender, and lemon together for uh, seasonal changes. So when spring comes or when fall comes and there's lots of either trees budding or trees are dropping their leaves, it's a really good uh, respiration supporting essential oil blend. Lemon, lavender, and peppermint. It's a staple in our essential oil family. Uh, you'll hear people talk about that one quite often, I am sure. Okay, so let's get into the topical aromatic oils down here at the bottom. So we're gonna start on this side. This is Panaway. Panaway is a wonderful oil. If you are someone who chases around kids all day, or if you're on your feet all day, maybe you go to Disney World and you're walking around all the time, or if you're somebody who exercises, this oil blend has peppermint and wintergreen in it, also has helichrysum and clove. And it is an amazing oil blend because it supports muscles and joints like you wouldn't believe. It just feels so good, and I think it's because of the combination of two constituents. One is menthol, the other is methyl salicylate. Spell it out, do some research on Google, see what all of those things can do for you. Um, but you'll notice when you put them on, it'll feel kind of like one of those icy and hot types of things that you may have used in the past. Um, it just feels really good rub it anywhere your muscles and joints need help. Um, if you need a little more cooling properties, uh, grab a peppermint and use that on top. And it's really, it feels really, really good, especially after leg day and then you can't sit. Yeah, it's really good for that. All right, the next one is Raven. Raven is one of my favorite essential oils for the change of season time. Anytime I need to open up my airways a little bit. It's really good even too if you're somebody who likes to run or walk um, and you have a lot of you know heavy breathing in and out, you need some support in that regard. This is a great oil blend for that. I like to take a drop of Raven and I'll put it on my chest and I'll get the little residue that I have on my hand and I'll cup it over the front part of my neck. And it really does help support my breathing. I just feel so open and refreshed and it's just a really, really good essential oil blend. This is another great blend also to use your reference guide to see what else it can be used for. You'll be pretty like astounded by all the things that Raven can do. But just think, when you think Raven, think breathing, okay? All right, next one is Citrus Fresh. Now, I love this oil. There is a Vitality version of the Citrus Fresh. Um, so this Citrus Fresh is labeled for topical and aromatic use. So what I like to do is I like to put some on some cotton balls or drip it on my vacuum filter before I vacuum the house or even throw it in my diffuser. It is great for getting rid of stink in your house. 
It's a combination of citrus oils and spearmint. That's the fresh part is the spearmint. And it's just so bright and uplifting and cheery. Um, I often will get compliments when I have citrus fresh in my diffuser necklace and I'm out just like in the wild walking around. I was actually getting tires put on my car. And you know how tire places smell like just rubber, <laughs> right? So um, the guy that was behind the... the um, register uh, it's, it's kind of like like sniffing me <laughs> it's a little weird um, and he's like you smell amazing what are you wearing I had citrus fresh on in my diffuser necklace <laughs> how crazy is that um so with this one it's just cheery uplifting so citrus is so good for that getting your mood um uplifted and elevated you can throw this in your diffuser and it just smells so wonderful especially in the kitchen um and it gets rid of stale odors maybe from leftover Maybe you baked fish in your oven or you put some bacon on the stove. I mean, it will help neutralize those odors. So it's just a really good stink eliminator. The next one's frankincense. Frankincense has about a thousand documented uses, as does lavender right next to it. So these two right here, if you're like, I don't know what to reach for and I need help with X, Y, Z, whatever it is, um, frankincense and lavender, these two are staples. Okay, so reach for one of these. With frankincense, personally, I like to use this on my face. Historically, frankincense was used for preservation and embalming by the Egyptians. So I like to, after I'm done washing my face in the evening, I will put one drop of frankincense right in my palm and I'll rub it all over my face and all over my neck. And it's really good for um, occasional, just age-related signs of skin aging, right? So like smile lines, crow's feet, um, maybe occasional adult acne, um, occasional skin discolorations, things like that. Really, really good for supporting your facial and neck skin or wherever you want to put it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, it's also great in the diffuser too. If you are somebody who needs help focusing, concentrating, um, good for kids when they are doing their homework in the afternoons, maybe prayer, meditation time, yoga practice, it's just really nice to throw it in your diffuser because it helps with your, um, your concentration so you can help focus a little bit. And the last one here is lavender. Lavender is like the Swiss army knife of essential oils is what we call it. So lavender and frankincense, these two, when you don't know what to reach for, reach for either, either one of these. Lavender is one that I like to use before bed. It helps me to wind down. Um, I will take a drop of lavender and maybe put it in my diffuser or I will put some on the bottom of my feet or the back of my neck. Uh, maybe just rub a little bit on my pillowcase as well. It's just a really nice, relaxing essential oil for most people. Um, the other thing with lavender too is it's very supportive for our skin. So this is another good one that you can um, put on your face if needed. Um, it's also a nice one too too, if you have maybe uh, been outside all day and you come back inside and your skin shows signs of needing a little support, um, I like to just rub lavender on any areas that I feel like I need it. And it's really, really helpful. And my favorite combination, um, like I said before, lemon, lavender, and peppermint together. You can put it in a roller ball and roll that on. Um, very good for seasonal comfort. Also throw it in your diffuser. You'll be super happy that you have these in your house. All right, so don't put these away. Make sure you have them out. Um, put them in your bathroom, in your kitchen, just somewhere out in the middle of everything so that you go to your kit to reach for these things rather than reaching for other options that you may have somewhere. All right, so we're gonna dig into the bottom of the box. So we had already gotten out the stress away. This is the Thieves Household Cleaner Sample. So this will make a 32 ounce spray bottle of cleaner, which is really cool. Just take the packet, peel off the, the top part here and just dump the contents in, fill the rest with water and it will literally clean all the things from your floors to your windows, to your mirrors, to your toilets, your counters. Uh, it cleans chrome really, really good. It's fabulous for chrome. Uh, it's safe to use around kids and pets so you don't have to worry about if your three-year-old's helping you clean and they accidentally put the nozzle not facing the right direction and get it on themselves, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And it's super duper effective too. This works incredibly well. This is literally the only cleaner that I have in my house right now. I use it to clean all the things. If I feel like maybe um, in my bathtub I need a little extra abrasion or something, I will just sprinkle a little bit of baking soda on top. And that is a fantastic combination with this Thieves Cleaner to clean literally everything in your house. It's wonderful. 
So the other things that are in here, we've got the Ningxia Red packets. Now Ningxia Red is a wolfberry puree, and it also has other very high antioxidant um, juices in here as well. So this is great for the entire family. You take uh, half a packet at a time. Some people elect to do the whole packet, and that's fine. Um, I start with half a packet, which is one ounce of this, and then I work my way up. So this is such dense nutrition in a little, little bit. Um, it's an antioxidant powerhouse and it's delicious too. It's super, super good. Um, and it helps with all of the systems of the body. It's pretty fascinating. Um, there's a lot of research that has gone into the Ningxia wolfberry. Um, that's why it's called Ningxia red because it's from the Ningxia province of China. It's bottled at the source. It's bottled in China. It's fabulous. This stuff is so crazy. Um, the, the idea behind it is that the people that live in the Ningxia province of China are centurions, which means their average life expectancy is over a hundred years old. And the, the main thing that's, um, consistent between everybody's diet there is eating the Ningxia wolfberry. So that's why Ningxia Red is a staple in pretty much most of my essential oil family's households, including my own. Um, I take an ounce of this, as does my husband, every single day. Sometimes we'll up it to two ounces if we feel like we need extra antioxidant support, but it's such a great thing. So kids love this too. You can put this in the freezer and make little freezy pops out of them. Um, what I recommend is just taking these out of the box and put them in your fridge because I think they're a little bit better cold. They're really good. And the last thing in the box is the roller topper. So it's this little metal metal roller topper. Um, so you could put this on your pan away. You could put it on your lavender. You could put it um, on your stress away and just turn your essential oil bottle into a roll on. So then you can just roll that essential oil right on you. It's super easy application. And there's instructions on how to do that included in the uh, this side of your, your starter kit box. So also in your box, depending on the country that you are in, you'll probably see a product guide. This is the 2018 product guide that came in my box. Depending on when you're watching this, it might be the 2019 product guide. It just kind of depends. Um, but in here, flip through, you're going to see all of these products that Young Living has. They have makeup, they have face care, they have food, they have frying pans. Can you believe that? Um, they have supplements and a whole bunch of oils, animal products, baby products, all sorts of things. This is going to be a very helpful guide for you because when we start using essential oils, it's kind of like our gateway into healthy, natural living. And over time, if you're not there already, you're going to want to transition out the bright blue dish soap and the counter cleaners that have warning labels on the back and the uh, lotions and potions you use that have parabens and phthalates and petrochemicals and things that our bodies don't really like. Young Living helps us do that because they have essential oil infused products that can fill the entire house from our personal care to our supplements to baby care and so on. Young Living has 600 products, which is crazy. It's a lot of stuff. And so it makes it easy for us to one month at a time, go through each part of our house, like start with our bathroom products and then transition to our kitchen products and then our cleaning products, our laundry products, things like that. Over time, transitioning out the yuck with no yuck essential oil infused products. And Young Living helps us do that with something called Essential Rewards. It is an optional um, subscription box that now that you have your starter kit, you're a member. So you have an option to participate in this. And I would say about half, if not more, of our essential oil family is an essential rewards, like avid lover of getting their subscription box every single month. You pick the products you want to receive, and in turn, Young Living is going to give you free products just for being a member, and they're also going to give you reward points back to use for free stuff. You use them like cash, which is fabulous. So we in our essential oil family have lots of tricks on how to dilute down the laundry soap, the dish soap, the dishwasher detergent, shampoo, shower gel, all sorts of things so that the cost of them actually works out to being less than what you would get from your grocery store with no yuck. 
it's fabulous. So Essential Rewards, if it's not something that you jumped on at the time that you ordered your starter kit, um, it's something that you'll want to think about getting eventually. The vast majority of people do this eventually um, because you're going to, like essential oils are your gateway. They are what open up your eyes to all of the yuck that's out there and you're not going to want to have that for your family. And Essential Rewards helps you gradually over time transition out the yuck filled products for no yuck filled essential oil infused products. So also in your box, you're going to see if you're in the US an essential oil magazine. I love this. It is so beautiful. Um, there's lots of tips and tricks and recipes and all things that you can do with your essential oils in here. Um, they talk about the farms. They talk about Q and A, lots of things. So it's super, it's just fun to look through. I love this magazine. So I love that they include this now with their starter kits. It's just super great. And then the last thing, if you're in the US, you're going to receive an essential edge. And this is just a uh, quarter or a monthly newsletter that Young Living sends out about what they're doing with the Young Living Foundation with, you know, building of schools and all sorts of stuff. Um, there's also recipes in here and information about new products. Lots of fun things. So take a look at your Essential Edge too. All right, guys, that is a crash course in how to get started right off the bat with your Young Living Premium Starter Kit. If you don't yet have your Premium Starter Kit and you are interested in grabbing one, there is a link below this video that will allow you to do so. But also included with that link is my personal support as well as the support of my amazing essential oil family called Healthy Essentials. We are all from all corners of the world, all different personalities, and we all use different products. So everybody has a lot to give to our group. Everybody is there to answer questions and help everyone out. It's kind of like therapy. It's just wonderful. So it's a great community of people um, that are all there to help you, myself included. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. I hope this was helpful for you. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe, so you never miss a daily video. Happy essential oiling. I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao.